uncivilized vitality with an uncivilized gear review uh, more of my favorite stuff uh, hill people gear and i want to go over their uh, various chest rigs today uh, we had a, a video up recently hopefully it'll come out before this one on we had a discussion about adc uh, all day carry or sometimes called edc uh, everyday carry uh, on and off body because one of uh, the members shane and i were having a discussion about well, what do you carry in your pockets and what do you carry actually in your pouch? For instance, I almost always have my little Spiritus Systems uh, fanny pack on, or Spiritus Systems calls this their uh, SAC, Sub Abdominal Carry Kit. So it's pretty neat. Just got a couple, couple pockets in the inside, and usually I keep a few extra things in there, or sometimes I'll stow my pistol in there when it's um, off body, or my wallet, uh, knife, cash keys phone that sort of stuff that's um when i'm wearing like shorts without pockets but normally i have all this stuff in my pockets i have my i have my paracord i have my uh little multi-tool i have my knife on my belt or a neck knife so i have all the things the handkerchiefs and typically my pistol on body but sometimes i like to stow all that stuff in a bag uh, when i'm i'm working and the spirit of systems is probably my current favorite right now i have an extra magazine in there i'll just drop that down there and my larger multi-tool uh, my leatherman signal not much else in there so we'll go back over the spirit of systems and their new uh, big fanny sack uh, in a little while but let's go over the hill people gears version so i've got a few things in front of me here uh, that typically you'd want to carry with you each day but you don't have enough pockets for it so it'll go in your pouch okay uh, a couple different things so i'm completely prepared I mentioned my third knife or my full um, Leatherman. Extra magazine. I have a light, but it's in my pocket. Sometimes I put an extra light in my bag. And then, uh, of course, my pistol. We're going to safety check that on video. All right. So you can see that the pistol is, in fact, uh, empty. All right. We're going to set that down here. I'm going to keep the other magazine uh, over here with my Spiritus bag so it's, it's not uh, loaded. Um, or charged at all. So let's talk about that. I've got some medical kit. I've got some um, med mags here from SOA Rescue. We got their their pill pack, where their advanced bleeding and advanced airway packs. These are like your trauma kits, uh, march kits, just in neat little packages. They fit down inside your mag carrier pockets on your load bearing vest, so they're pretty neat. I found that it's neat to just uh, throw these in my outdoor bags or carry them with me. I have my pistol, it's off body for a minute. I have a poncho, a set of gloves, uh, work gloves, and my canteen. These are typically things I wouldn't be able to fit in my pocket. And sometimes I can rig up carrying those with me. Now my Hill People Gear waste pack, or their, their snubby, is uh, a fanny, fanny pack sort of thing, just like the Spirit of Systems. And I can use this, it goes right around the waist, and I can put a lot of things in there. Most of the stuff that's in my pocket, I can put here in the bag. And that's great. But a lot of people don't necessarily care for uh, the fanny pack or the waist pack and are wondering about other options. And there are various chest rigs out there. I'm partial to Hill People Gear's version of chest rigs, and I'll show you why. So my snubby kit, and I'll go over this, has some lashings on the bottom. It's got a dual zipper pocket on the front with two slot pockets and some uh retention loops inside in the front pocket the main pocket has two retention loops i put a key ring there and two slip pockets on the front or away from the body on the body surface it's got this laser cut uh, pals ladder system that's got velcro so you can stick patches on there right you can put other pieces of gear there or you can weave them in with the um uh, molly attachment system okay then the pouch behind the main pouch next to the body the hill people gear has a third pocket uh, that has a little strip of velcro in the middle that's mainly meant to accommodate uh, various holsters and such but that's a pistol concealment holster right next to your body you can wear that in the the fanny pack version if you're going to fully load out or if you don't care for that, you can move the same configuration up higher to sit on your on your chest. That's called a chest rig. If you really want to carry a lot of uh, um, 
gear and sort it out like which gear is where. Go with the fanny pocket. Spirit system. this keeps my wallet keys and drive my daily stuff in here. My ADC things I have to have. This would be the small emergency type gear, outdoor gear I carry with me, my spoon, my pistol, my poncho, my mag, flashlight, uh, that kind of thing, first aid. I'd carry that up in my chest rig. So the hill people gear, chest rig comes in three different sizes, okay? This is the, the largest, this is the search and rescue. It's got a strip of Velcro along the front. I usually just keep a patch there or a name tag. And it's got these, these uh, obliquely oriented uh, PALS loops here. And I can just demonstrate here. Sometimes I, I usually attach my knife to those, but I'll just hang my multi-tool right there. That way it's handy, it's accessible. Uh, sometimes in this, from one of these things, I hang my, I hang my gloves or I'll hang my gloves from the bottom of the bag on these molly loops on the bottom. I've thrown a couple of little just pieces of leftover shot cord because a lot of times what I'll do if I'm wearing the full size pack, the search and rescue model is at the bottom here, I'll throw my, I'll just stuff my poncho through there. So now I have rain gear, an extra covering, uh, covering clothing element and uh, emergency shelter. So I can hang that on the bottom there. And this large pack, search and rescue is what I wear uh, when I'm doing events or I'm having outings and I have to carry first aid on me the whole time for the groups. Uh, we have like, you know, 12 to 20 people and I want to keep that stuff handy. I'll put a lot of stuff right in here so I'm not carrying my backpack around. The neat thing about the search and rescue size for Hill People gear is if you unzip that main compartment, what fits right in there directly is their medium sized chest rig. And I'll go over that in a minute. And what fits directly inside the main compartment of their medium chest rig is the small or the snubby chest rig. And you'll notice that the snubby chest rig is exactly the same as the waist pack. It's just instead of the belt, uh, belt loop, it comes with the uh, chest rig harness. And we'll go over those three. They're all exactly the same except for the sizes. They have the same compartments and same setup as the Snubby or as this one. And I will demonstrate uh, a couple of things. Let's start with the medium. So here's their, here's their medium size chest rig. So it's, it's set up like this. It's got this nice uh, mesh backing that's stitched in and it attaches and three points to the harness and then under the right arm it's got a big side release buckle that once you throw this on you can reach back grab that buckle click it in on the side and this is where the chest rig rides it's super convenient super handy it's got that uh, those molly uh, pals on the bottom i can attach my tourniquet under there i can attach i can hang my uh, gloves from the bottom or up here on the the webbing or even on the top here is lots of lots of loops All right so I have these things accessible I can put my flashlight inside there those front slip pockets so you get an idea of the size let's show you this is the Leatherman signal the Leatherman signal sits all the way down inside one of those slip pockets and it's exactly <laughs> one Leatherman signal deep All right so that drops in there and I can drop in my um, Glock 43 X 10 round magazine right in there and if you can see that's where they sit so there's two slip pockets plenty of room can drop my can take my uh, my wallet flashlight I can slide that right in the other pocket uh, right next to it so I've got all that stuff in there I can drop my phone we're using the phone to film but I can drop that right in there so I use that front pocket for personals the main pocket I have those two more of those those slip pockets and in here I can pile some of my medical supplies those mag rescue pouches or I could fit uh, two AR-15 30 round mags now that I have those in there I can open up that third panel and usually remember I showed you this was safe I can put this 
uh, into this Velcro holster. Uh, it serves as a trigger guard. Sometimes I will just use this little loop down here and dummy cord in my Kydex holster. Uh, you can get different variety of different holsters. But then it just Velcros right in place. I tuck that up. And then I have a few things on the outside. Like I said, sometimes my poncho, an extra flashlight, my gloves. The only thing the chest rigs do not have the capacity to uh, help you with is your container element, your water, water bottle. Now, that's not to say you couldn't fix that. I have in the past on the side over here attached a, a water bottle pocket and dropped my canteen to keep everything up here. Then in my main pack, I carry just my shelter and sleeping options and food. Uh, axe and saw a couple things like that. Drop the main pack at, at camp and then I have the rest of my things on me the rest of camp uh, easily accessible. And then at night because I do a lot of hammock camping I get in, uh, take my eyeglasses off, drop the case right here in the front, get done uh, reading my book or listening to a podcast or whatever, drop my phone right in here, pull my quilt up and then I can sleep right in the hammock. I've got everything I need uh, right here in this chest rig. Okay, including my pistol, so I don't have to worry about where I'm setting that or, or any uh, unsafe measures in the hammock. When I want to get out, just that side release buckle, and you just lift the whole thing off. And then there are um, a couple loops here at the top. Hill People Gear has done that, so you can use their load lifter straps. On my backpack, if I've got a significant amount of weight in this, I can just, once I put my backpack on over this, I can just clip in with the two straps and it takes the weight from my shoulders with the chest rig and puts it onto the yoke system of the Hill People Gear um, backpack. Any of them, my Umlindi or the Aston um, or the, the Ute or the, the Decker pack frame, all of the different bags, even my Tara Humara, you can make a nice little front and back rig. Uh, Hill People Gear, the best part is their modularity. So that's the medium pack. And you'll see I've got all of those items in there. It's still, it's a little stuffed. Right. It's a little stuffed up, but it accommodates everything. I'm going to put my wallet back in my pocket so I don't lose it. So that's the medium chest rig, and that is the Hill People Gear suspension system for their chest rig. Right. And it hangs just like that. I'll turn around and show you on the other one. So it hangs just like that. Now, um, I've made some modifications to my snubby-sized pack because I carry that one probably the most. Instead of wearing it around my waist, I can take this off and um, wear it around my waist if I want, but I usually just take this smaller chest rig on my daily or daily outings or just on the, the short outings with maybe the wife and I. So what I've done with this snubby, you can see it's a lot smaller. I can still put my pistol in there. Okay. Pistol fits just fine. This is a Glock 43X, so you get a kind of a size idea. Fits in there just fine. I don't advocate or show a, a lot of practice drawing from this. This would just be where I keep it at camp for comfort. So it's not on my belt or tucked in an appendix carry or, God forbid, in my backpack, not on my person. This way it keeps my pistol out of the way. Uh, I know where it's at. I can get at it if I need to. Obviously, it's not as good as um, an on-body carry. So inside here, I don't have a lot of room for the full med mags, although I can fit the advanced bleeding, the advanced airway, I can get them in the snubby. If we kind of tuck that down in there. So there's my first aid. It does take up a lot of room. Doesn't leave a lot of room in this front for my signal. And you see the pockets are a little smaller than on the, the medium size where that sat down in the slip pocket completely on the medium. In here, I would just sort of tuck those in the extra mag uh, just down inside that front pocket as best they could. So this would be a little, if I'm carrying a full trauma kit like that, uh, as opposed to in my backpack if I'm out by myself, it's, it's a little tight. Right? So, but the Snubby's great for just day to day. Maybe you're running around and you don't have any pockets and you don't want to carry a fanny pack for whatever reason, maybe because it's getting wet on your bathing suit. I don't know what your choices are. Um, but it's a little tight for a med bag. But carries my pistol just fine, and then in here I could slip my phone, 
my wallet, my keys, right, my flashlight, a couple extra things, and it's out of the way. It's very small. It's very light. And this is what it looks like from behind, right? So it's got that that mesh, and then it's still got under the arm that right uh, release. Now on my snubby, because I use this one the most, ironically, I don't use the medium size pack all that often, even though it's uh, it's Goldilocks. It's just right. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's just right. But I got that one uh, after I already had the snubby and the search and rescue size. But I've modified my harness in, in this way. I don't know if my wife can zoom in. I think we have another video about these where I'm using these uh, tube systems from First Spear. So now instead of just having the right as an exit, maybe I have an injury on the right, I can't get to it. I've got these tube systems from First Spear. I can just grab these little cords, yank down, and just pop that side free and get out through the left. I can pop the right and the left and flip this over my head uh, if I'm needing to get out in a hurry. Maybe I've had a, a water accident. Maybe, I don't know, a lot of different reasons I'd want to get out of this in a hurry. Uh, there, there's another good use of a chest rig as opposed to the standard belt pack, belt pouch or, or purse or fanny pack. Canoe trips or anywhere I'm gonna be sitting a lot, instead of having to shuffle this off to the side, it's sometimes more convenient just to have it up here. It doesn't get in the way. If I jump out of the canoe, I'm up to about chest deep in the water and I have to worry about contents at my waist or pockets getting wet uh, so that I can get out and do some maneuvers. If I need to get out in a hurry, I put the tube systems on the, the vertical shoulder hangers as well. I can rip those out and then either side I can pull and drop and get out of this uh, rig in a hurry. The other thing that's interesting about this setup is Hill People Gear also has another harness, an aftermarket harness that you can get uh, for your chest rigs. And this one's kind of a full back harness. It's laser cut for the PAL system. It's got some uh, shock cord. I think I put that on there. Uh, shock cord. You can put different um, pouches and packets, maybe a second med kit, maybe a small um, another small purse or a water bladder. It's got a mesh pocket on the inside against your back that is designed, I believe, for a water bladder, if you're the type that likes those sort of things. And then I did the same thing. I retrofit this with First Spear's uh, tube system. Right. So I do use this one um, on our big events, big campaigns with groups. I'll take this full back panel um, usually in the winter months or the colder months because I can put a pouch on the back or I can hang extra gear on the back panel making almost a like a fully integrated system. All right, so that's what this one looks like. This goes on, I set the whole thing up. Same thing, come under the right. Side release buckle. And you can see what this one looks like uh, from the back. It's got all that room for another pouch, another pocket, uh, more first aid kit, maybe a couple of tourniquets on the back. You can use these uh, obliquely oriented PALS um, Molly systems here to put a tourniquet on the outside, a flashlight, bear spray, um, a tourniquet. Like I said, I like to keep my poncho under here so I don't have to root around for it in my backpack or if I've used my I've left my backpack at the main camp under my hammock. That way I have my tarp with me. Now you get the idea. Evidently I can't operate elastic cord, but that's all right. Hello, Mr. Honeybee. And the good part about this um, search and rescue size or their, their large size is the amount of gear you can get in here. So there's my poncho. I could easily hook up on the side, outside of that tubular system, a little water bottle pocket to drop my canteen. Now I've got my canteen. I can hang from the outside. I can dangle my gloves there or from the bottom so I know where my gloves are. This larger pocket will take, I, I can drop magazines. I could drop uh, my multi-tool, my phone, my flashlight, all my personal things in there. I could almost fit my entire Spiritus sack in that front pocket. Oh, I guess I can. I wouldn't even have to unload that. I can just drop the pack within a pack. 
All right, now I'm getting like that Inception movie, pack within a pack, I'm starting to get super excited about that. And then, this pack just gobbles up all my med kit, plus plenty of room for more. I can drop a couple tourniquets in those slip pockets usually. Um, here's an example of something. I've put a little shock cord, one of our tactical, uh, tactical toggle shock cords in here through the molly. And I use that to wrap things up in there. Sometimes I don't want to fall out when I open it up. It's a dummy cord that shut. And then, of course, once I've got this giant kit laid out for camp. Hey, look at that. I got another holster inside that one. All right, just like that. And you can see how much room. I can get a full-size pistol in here. Get a Glock 17 in there. Easy. Should have brought a bigger pistol to show people. But there's that rig all set up. And again, on this one, you might want to utilize those load lifter straps a little more. On my big one here, I keep a couple of uh, Grimlocks just already in position. And on those two little loops, if I have my backpack, I'll go on the strap. Once I put my backpack over this, I will take those Grimlocks and snap them into the webbing on my yoke system on my Hill People gear. And that transfers the weight from these straps onto the yoke system of my Hill People gear, the backpack, and then down to my waist, uh, waist belt, my uh, pack belt. So it's a pretty handy system. And then when I get where I'm going, I can drop my pack, but I have all of my, uh, everything I need for personals on me, all my uh, emergency equipment, all my first line pockets and pouch stuff right in one of these chest rigs. If this one's a little too big for you, you get down to the medium, all right? Try the medium size which for size comparison fits right inside the large or you can go all the way down to the snubby size which would fit right in there and also comes in a dedicated waste pack uh, system which is slightly larger than the Spiritus Systems uh, sack. I like this because I don't really carry much in my day-to-day -day pouches. All right, all right, what else? Uh, the systems are interchangeable. I don't always wear this um, large backpack style yoke with my chest rigs. I usually just use this mesh and I've set a couple of them up with the first spear uh, tube system, quick release tubes that I can get in and out of this real quick, this big heavy yoke. If I needed to, I could drop this if I were in the water and punch out one side and then I'm free so I don't get dragged down. Or if I'm caught up in something. Or maybe I just want to uh, rip this free so I can drop it in front of me and rip open and start seeing my med kit. I used to run the medical supply setup free form in here, but I found it's easier when I'm switching pouches just to use these SOA rescue, SOAR rescue um, med packs. So those are pretty cool. Otherwise, I would set things up here with inserts and have my chest seals and such all in these pockets. I could rip this open and then I got my med kit ready to go. Okay, so that is the Hill People Gear chest rig series. Uh, big fan, like it a lot, different sizes, easy to get in and out, right? holds all my stuff, holds my pistol, holds all my medical and camping, and then holds all my personal right in the front. Uh, good addition, I think, and uh, maybe, maybe Hill People Gear will um, collaborate with first spear or maybe include the option to use their tubular system. Tubular. I don't know if that's the right word. Tube system. What's tubular? Ninja Turtles. Okay. 80s. Ninja Turtles. Tubular. Yeah, right. So, you know, if you don't, uh, if you're in a position where you don't want to wear a waist pack, maybe just go with the smaller chest rig. You can fit all your personal stuff in there. You got like a pocket on your chest. Okay. They're super handy. Um, I know a question that comes up right away. Rendell carries uh, one of the chest rigs so for females. Obviously, I'm fairly flat chested, so I don't have to deal with that. A couple ways you can do that uh, with the rig. You can lower that, carry that below the breast line, so it's more of an abdominal kit. Let it hang down a little bit. Or you can crank it up a little higher to sit above the breast, kind of on the chest like this, so it's still accessible. Obviously, uh, you're going to have to make some accommodations depending on how you're built. So. Those are the Hill People Gear chest rigs. If you are not 
a big fan of the fanny pack, uh, purse, sack, little pouch, however you want to call it. Uh, check the chest rigs out. So give us a thumbs up and a like and a share and a subscribe and a notification bell and all of the smashings that Rendell asks on all the buttons. And then leave some comments about the uh, Hill People Gear products that you use and uh, what you think about that. I think that is it.